morning guys. Ignore the way I look, I do not see the point in putting any makeup on this morning because I have ended up with a day off due to, due to this madness that has occurred in the evening. So we, as a country, were completely unprepared for the snow wasn't really forecast or at least my phone wasn't forecasting it and nothing was prepared so I literally I cannot get into London today even if I felt confident enough to drive which I don't because I'm terrified of driving on the best of days let alone like this even if I could get to the station neither neither of the trains that I can access are running in this part of the line because of all of that because this country cannot handle snow so I've messaged my lecturer I'm not missing anything too important today there's like a group presentation but it's not marked and all my assignments and the teaching that I need for the assignments are done with for the term so I'm kind of grateful that this has happened today of all days because it just means I can stay here work on my essay catch up on any work that I need to catch up on I'm gonna film a video today and I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk because it is Denzel's birthday today and snow is like his favorite thing so I'm convinced this is his birthday wish but it's gonna be a very very nice day I feel like a kid on Christmas I've literally been awake since six o'clock this morning because I was just so excited about how much it had snowed it's gonna be a week filled with dirty smutty romances because it's me and hopefully the snow sticks around and yeah, I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk, gonna do some work. I have been reading Icebreaker all morning. Um, Icebreaker is like a hockey skater, figure skater romance that blew up on TikTok and as an ex-figure skater, I felt the need to check it out. And uh, it's, it's not very well written and I really can't tell if it's getting better or if I've just gotten used to it. But either way, I'm kind of enjoying myself and I'm kind of here for it and it is definitely a dirty smutty romance. So I'm gonna keep reading that. And then I believe I have another hockey romance that I downloaded on my Kindle. I'm very into ice hockey romances right now. It, it's a deep dive that I'm going down on. TikTok will not stop recommending them to me and I, I'm going to keep reading them. Yeah, if you guys want to stick around and see how my week goes and just generally how things are going, then do please feel free to hit that big red subscribe button down below to stay tuned for future content. I upload a bookish video every Wednesday. I am hoping that eventually it will be two videos a week, but right now, if you do not know, I'm doing a master's degree and I cannot commit to any more than one video a week at the moment, but Yes, I hope that you guys enjoy and now I need to get my day started because if I sit here and read any more of Icebreakers, I will not go downstairs and be productive. I cannot focus on work at all. Is that surprising? Not really. Um, and because it is the end of term and I, and I do have the Christmas break to do these assignments, I'm not too upset with myself. So I want to still feel like I've done something productive today so I'm gonna film a video for Wednesday and then maybe I'll go out. I really want to go out in the snow but I, I don't want to go out by myself. <laughs> we'll have to see how we feel. First on the agenda is filming a video. And then I, I just want to sit here and read Icebreaker and then read more smutty sports romances because that's really been a sweet spot for me lately. I genuinely want to go back and reread The Deal, which might be my plan of action after Icebreakers because I've read the off-campus series so spaced out that I genuinely can't remember the deal at all. Like, I don't remember the plotline, how Hannah and Garrett get together at all. I just remember two, three, and four, but I don't remember one. I'm excited to reread that. Does anyone else get really excited when books mention other books that you love? I didn't film the video, that didn't happen. I picked up my book and I have yet to put it down. I am now at the 82% mark, but 
Anastasia is talking about the Kiss Quotidian and I read the Kiss Quotidian a couple weeks ago and it has honestly my favourite romance book that I've read. It's definitely up there, I loved it. And they're talking about it in this book and I'm having such a bad girl moment. I have sat here and I've read the entirety of Icebreaker. So I read the book in two sittings. I don't even know how I feel about it because I think objectively it's not that good of a book but I got so invested. Um, and I think part of that is because of my skating background. But also, as part of that skating background, I consumed a lot of skating content. And this book is a smutty version of the Cutting Edge series. And I'm so here for it. I had a really good time. And I hope there are more, more books in this series. I'm sure there will be. The only thing I didn't like was the epilogue. I felt like everything was a little bit too rushed in the epilogue and... Like, I don't know, I just wanted like more time to have passed before we saw them. At that point in life, I was very interested in the skating elements of the book, so I would have been interested to know more about Anastasia's career in the epilogue and not just their relationship, but I think that's a me thing. But yeah, I personally just really didn't like the epilogue, but I do tend to have issues with epilogues in romance books anyway. They are always a little bit flat for me. Like, I want them because I want that information, but I feel like epilogues never follow the exact point in time that I want them to follow. But other than that, I had a really good time. <laughs> and I have to go and film this video now. And then I think I'm gonna force myself to go on a walk just to get some air today. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Hopefully be productive and do some work, but I doubt it at this point. <laughs> video I filmed a reacting to my 2022 anticipated releases but make it a drinking game video so if you haven't seen that I will link that for you you guys to go and check that out I had a lot of fun filming that video actually I kind of stopped doing the drinking -y style videos a sometimes they are a real pain to edit if they involve overlaying old videos which this one does but I don't know, I just really kind of fell out of wanting to do them, but I had a lot of fun with it today, and it's just a fun little video. I don't think anyone particularly gains much from watching those videos, but I know that I really enjoy it when I see people do, do these types of videos, and they're really fun to film, even if they are irritating to edit sometimes, so yeah. Going on that little walk really boosted my productivity a little bit. It didn't boost it in a uni work way, but productivity is productivity regardless of whether it was the type that I wanted. At least that is something off my to-do list done and it's the last week of term. I don't have oodles and oodles to do. I mean like overall for all of the stuff that I need to get done between now and early January, I have a lot that needs to get done. But the fact that I didn't do a lot of it today is fine because I still have another couple weeks and I won't have classes or things in those weeks so I should have the time to get them done and I did make some progress on my essay, I did some reading, I did some like throwing ideas out and starting to structure them so we are moving forwards and that is really all that matters so now I'm going to draw a bath because you have to have a bath when it's snowing, it is a rule and I'm going to reread the Deal by L. Kennedy, book one in the Off Campus series, because it's been like two years and I miss it. This morning's snowy update, we are still going strong on the snow. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday morning. I am not going into uni again today. I am feeling very very guilty about that decision, but I was I'm just, I'm terrified to drive. I'm sure once I got onto the main roads, it would be fine. 
but so much of my drive is not main roads and it's little forests and hills and I have panic attacks when I drive on a normal summer's day where it's light until 9 p.m and there's barely anything on the roads and i will still find a way to have a panic attack over it if i even slide a little bit i don't think i will ever get in a car again all of my content for today's lecture has been put online because there are rail strikes today so my lecturer was like i'm just gonna put everything online in case people can't make it in so i've decided to just stay home and work from home today but i'm feeling really really guilty about it even though i'm literally not missing anything so I know last time I updated you I said I was going to read The Deal. Um, I have started reading the de rereading The Deal as well but I, I made the mistake of googling sports romances on TikTok and now every other video is a hockey romance which I am so fine with. I'm so okay with TikTok giving me hockey romance recommendations but I did give in and I purchased Consider Me by Becca Mack, which is a hockey romance. And I started reading that, so I'm reading two hockey romances at the same time. I'm living my best life this Christmas, and I'm really enjoying Consider Me. It is, it's not enemies to lovers, but it is, he's really interested in her, and she's not interested at all kind of thing, or I guess she is interested, but it follows Carter, who is a who is the captain of the Vancouver Vipers I believe and he is not used to being told no and when he meets Olivia who absolutely refuses to sleep with him he cannot stop pursuing her and that's kind of all I've got to so far and I'm really enjoying the dynamic between them and I'm just enjoying the hockey vibes I'll be honest with you it's not a college setting and I do think that as far as sports romances go a college setting is like a real sweet spot for me I really enjoy that but I'm still enjoying it without it being a college sports romance so yeah that is fun and I will keep you updated. I had some more thoughts about Icebreaker that I'm now forgetting so that's helpful. So to try and combat my anxiety about staying home today I am gonna go set myself up in the study and do a big chunk of work on my essay or any other work that I feel needs to get done and then hopefully I will feel a little bit better about not going in today. I'm also gonna do the work that's up online for this module. Try and have a bit of a work day today. Today is another work from home day, so not feeling too tired this morning and I am like four or five days behind on my tea advent calendar, so we've got some choices. I have a Ruboff's Infusion Moroccan Mint or an Assam and I'm leaning towards the Assam this morning and then I'll probably have the mint tea a bit later. So I had my online class. Please ignore the fact that Giles is in clothes. I don't have an answer for you on that. So that was a kind of boring class. It was on biomolecular ways of studying illnesses in the past and I'm just not a bioarchaeology girl. Like it's half of my degree and there are parts of it that I find interesting but I'm ultimately a forensic anthropology girly. I am at the 49% mark of Consider Me and I have some thoughts. I am overall enjoying it. I mean it's a hockey romance, you can't really go wrong. I do think it is a good option if you finished the off-campus series and you're looking for something kind of similar. This does have that similar atmosphere to it. You have a group of guys who are really really close. You have a protagonist who is captain of the hockey team and is really arrogant and really horrible but is actually a really like a real sweetheart underneath all of that and you just have this like big cast of characters that are very easy to read from and I'm really looking forward to reading the next book actually because I've heard better things about book two and I think it's being set up in this book. I don't know who book two covers but I do think that it is one of the future books is being set up in this book and I'm really interested to see what happens there because I think it's going to be a really interesting one and I do enjoy a lot like the off-campus series seeing the setups to future books in this current one but I, I have a problem with it in that 
it's all just happened too quickly in the space of like one page to the next our male protagonist went from cocky and sure of himself to being obsessed with our main character and this definitely definitely a he fell first situation but i'm not buying it because it happened so quickly they she kept saying i'm not gonna sleep with you i'm not gonna sleep with you and i was like okay like we're really gonna be made to wait for this here and then it happened at the 20 percent mark of the book and i i personally just don't really like that i don't really care when it happens in the book if the purpose is not about making us wait again to compare it to the off-campus series in the fourth book it happens really early on in that book too but it's supposed to and so it works but the purpose of this was to keep us waiting keep it building because our main character was like refusing to sleep with him and really wanted to slow things down and then it happened at the 20% mark so whilst I'm still enjoying it really looking forward to finishing it really looking forward to reading the rest of this series and I'm really happy to have another hockey romance series on my list and I have so many more that TikTok have been recommending me so I'm looking forward to trying those too just a little critique of the book is that it just seems to be happening a little bit too fast and I'm not really buying the connection between our characters. They went from one desperately trying to sleep with one, the other and being really arrogant and the other absolutely refusing and not wanting to be the same as other girls to both admitting they really liked each other after not really spending all that much time together and also the reason that our two characters meet is because our main char our female main character's best friend is dating one of our male main character's teammates. Why didn't they meet soon? It's not like this couple have just started dating, they've been together for over a year. So why did Olivia and Carter only just meet? Like, you're telling me that Liv was never taken to a hockey game or a hockey party before? I just feel like there are some plot holes and I'm struggling with them but all in all I'm still really enjoying the book and it is killing me that I can't sit here and read it all day until I finish it because I have grown up adult things that I need to do. Good evening. I am really quite impressed with myself today. It is half five in the evening and the things I wanted to get do to get done today were I wanted to do my online class which I did I wanted to finish editing my video, which I did. I wanted to upload my video, which I did. And then I wanted to either do some dissertation reading or work on my Ancestry essay. And I ended up getting 600 words of my Ancestry essay done and reading three papers for my dissertation. So very productive day today. I went above and beyond my to-do list for the day, but I'm feeling really like in my head and a little bit anxious so I'm ready to stop now and either read or play The Sims, probably a mix of both for the rest of the evening. I haven't been enjoying working on my dissertation lately because I know that I want to do a PhD and so every time I work on my dissertation I get really in my head about the fact that my dissertation is probably going to lead into my PhD and I'm like is this the thing that I want to be researching for the rest of my 20s, like is this the thing? And I get really in my head and really anxious about it and there's nothing I can do to stop that really. So it's fine. I read three papers and now I can stop. Like I don't need to be going too intense on the dissertation reading yet. Most of my class have no idea what they want to study, let alone like a specific question and like readings done like I have. So we're doing okay on that front and now I'm ready to relax for the evening. And then tomorrow I'm going into campus because I have a class but not even just the fact that I have a class it's more the fact that after that class I get to go and pick my boyfriend up from the station because he's coming home for Christmas and then we are going to a gingerbread making party thing at a friend's house so tomorrow is an exciting day we just have to hope that I can actually make it into London <laughs> It's been a little while since I vlogged, I don't think I vlogged a thing yesterday which was Friday, today Saturday morning. Um, I just had the most wonderful Christmassy day yesterday, I drank a lot of Bailey's hot chocolate and I had a Christmas movie marathon and I didn't do an ounce of reading and I'm 
more than okay with it. I also didn't do it out of uni work, which I'm less okay with, but it is necessary and it is my Christmas break. I should have a small little break. But anyway, I am still reading Consider Me. Yes, still. This book feels very, very long. I am not able to read it as quickly on my Kindle as I have been able to read other books. Is that because it's a long book or is that because I don't really like it? I don't know. I will be finishing this book. I'm about like 80% of the way through now and I will be going on to read the next one because I'm so intrigued to see if I've heard more things about the next book because it is genuinely better and that's why this one is kind of like skated under the radar a little bit because it's not like it's an objectively bad book. It just has some structural issues which for some people might may not be issues but i i'm really struggling to get through this book because i swear they have been together since like the 20 percent mark of this book and we are 80 percent of the way through nothing has gone wrong and obviously something is about to go wrong because i think this book is clearly going to be the most predictable structure of a romance book ever and there will be an 80 percent conflict and then they will make up and it will all be fine but i'm actually looking forward to some conflict now like they got together way too early in this book and they fell for each other way too early in the book and now i've just been reading nothing but niceness and i like to see relationship parts in the book but i don't like to see 60% of the book be happy relationship and that's kind of where I've been a little bit bored like if a book has made me bored of reading spicy scenes because they're that happy and there's that many of them like this is me we're talking about you know like there's just something off about this book and I think like the only thing I can really put my finger on as to what is bothering me about it is the fact that they've just been together for so long and they're so happy and all I'm reading about is like happy romance scenes and I'm not really into it and the character development of Carter has just been too quick. He was so insta-lovey with her and has been so like perfect boyfriend material in the relationship after having never ever ever in his life wanted to have a relationship. He tried to have a one night stand with Olivia. She, she said no one time and that was it. Like she was the girl for him. He was in love with her and he managed to overcome all of his past trauma that made him want to be a fuckboy to begin with and then like be so in love with her and be the perfect boyfriend after like having never been in one before and having a very very busy career schedule I just I'm not buying it is the problem and that's why I'm so sick of seeing these relationship scenes because I'm just not buying it but I'm I didn't think that highly of The Deal by L. Kennedy when I read that book and then I fell in love with the rest of the series so there is something to be said for experience so I am going to give I'm going to finish this book because I'm so close to the end and then I will probably give book two a try to see how that goes but I might leave it for a little while. I have some other hockey romances that I would like to check out and that will be like I'll go through them and see if I can find any favourites in them before I loop back round to whatever the sequel to Consider Me is. Yeah, little bit of a dud to end on and I was doing so well with lots of reading and now I'm a bit like mm, you know but oh well will live. So with that I'm going to end this vlog here because I definitely will not be doing too much reading over this weekend because I am on back to back double shifts. Don't you love the Christmas period and hospitality? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you have found some good recommendations. You have enjoyed seeing me read lots of hockey romances because this is a real like deep dive of a very very sub genre that I'm going down but it's like a sub genre of a sub genre. But I hope you've enjoyed seeing it nonetheless. Please leave some more recommendations down in the comment section for me because this this little obsession, not gonna end anytime soon. I am in it for the long haul. If you guys did enjoy this vlog and you would like to see more from me, then do please feel free to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Stay tuned for future content. I upload every single Wednesday and there is occasional bonus content, which I think there will be soon because there are too many end of the year videos to upload and not enough Wednesdays in the rest of the year. You can also feel free to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Page and Chapter to see what I'm reading and how I'm reviewing it in real time. So you don't have to wait for monthly wrap ups and TBRs and occasional vlogs. You can just see it whenever you would like to. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. You're enjoying everything you are reading and there are no reading slumps in your future. And I'll see you next week for my next video. Bye guys.